All right, everyone. So this is going to be a 15 minute video where I'll cover how to do keyword research and how to spy on competitors ads. Um, I'm going to have to split this one into two parts because there's, there's a, a lot to it. Um, I don't know if I can cover everything in one video and that's going to be like half an hour or so. But essentially, I will cover as much as I can. And to get you started with understanding how to actually use stuff within Bing and AdWords. All right, so as you can see, I don't have Bing right now, unfortunately, but um, don't worry about it. I will have it for the next tutorial. It's just got my accounts got blocked, and yeah, I'll I'll have I'll have my account in the next video. But for now, I'm just gonna talk about keyword research anyway. And we're gonna cover later on how to actually manage campaigns. Anyway, so for keyword research, so by now you know what offer you wanna um, get into. And how you, what you want to do etc so yeah so this this is my facebook group um basically essentially what i'm showing is i've got a six step ad optimization pro process which i use for bing as well i use for bing um so if you want this make sure you join the group i'm gonna post it here literally you just gotta join the group um and you'll be added to my email list as well i'm gonna show you the six steps on how to optimize your um campaign and I'm going to give some bonus links as well on how to spy on competitors. So, yeah, just just make, just make sure you join. Uh, so the first step, obviously, is um, actually knowing what you want to achieve um, with your campaign. All right. Anyway, I'm, I'm going to go in more detail with this. This is, this is optimization. We're not on that level yet. It's going to be a separate video for that. But for now, you can get it. Just join the group. Anyway. So let's say we wanted to do, um, where is my campaign, ad groups, no. Oh, right, here it is, no, this is the one. Yeah, I just called it mortgage refinance, I have no idea why, but let's say we want to work in mortgage refinance. Um, what you want to do is, so you just, you just type in your keyword here. So usually when you start off with, with, with a campaign, you don't you don't want to have too too many keywords. You want to experiment with one one or two per campaign. And once you've got enough data on one of them, that's when you expand and you take the keyword and make a campaign um, from itself. It's it's quite it's quite a simple idea. <clears throat> um, but literally that's what you do you just start off with a couple keywords in one campaign let's say less than 10 and then once you find out which one's working well you create a separate campaign just for that keyword and th there's a couple of other things you can do as well like let's say um you can you can actually check which one's performing well in which location what time period and literally just optimize around that but um for now so more to get rates um, so yeah, you can see you can get some pretty expensive um, expensive bids. Um, so yeah, what, one thing you 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 have to learn how um, to understand is ad rank, and same thing applies to Bing. Exact same thing applies to Bing. So essentially, what it is is ad rank is 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 basically the algorithm that they use to determine which ad comes in the top three positions. And um, so it's ad relevance. Um, this is what composes ad ad rank. Expected click through rates and historic account data. So when you start out, you don't have any historic account data. So you have to rely on having a good landing page. I showed you how to create a landing page using iframes, there's already a video on that. And uh, you can also, um, so, th so this video is gonna be more focused on creating the ad and having the relevant keywords. I'm not gonna create the campaign just yet. I'm just gonna be doing the ad, um, keyword research and looking at what kind of ad we wanna go for. So here's, here's one website you can use. So let's say we go to bing.com. This is my Instagram, by the way. So 
or fallen if you want whatever I don't know what this is but yeah so just just follow my Instagram and so let's say we more let's say we do mortgage refinance so just type in your keyword this, this is a quick way to get nice keywords from from your own um, this this is one one of the ways you can do it so let's say we just we just go for this link here boom actually we'll just I'll probably just get this part and they're gonna make me make an account but I'm just gonna do really quick yeah just just us for now so I just use vague details for now but you can just um you get a monthly a monthly package so that uh, it makes it easier to actually come through and uh, do this regularly so once you start making more money um you can do you can do a whole lot more with this but for now it's just going to give you lim very limited amount of data and so what you can do is you can use that data to help you with your um, website and creating the ads all right so I don't think there's much data on this one I can't really tell yet so here we go no there's a whole there's a lot there actually mm, yeah fuck that anyway so their average ad position in the last month has been the third I mean it kind of is the gun coming on the second side here so as you can see these are ad extensions all right so you, you, you're gonna you're gonna have to use ad extensions as much as you can uh, the, these are called site links so you add more site links to, to your um, ad and also what you want to do is within your landing page have a very descriptive landing page look, look, look how they wrote um, best remortgages literally and then here refinance rates don't have a random landing page don't make it like if it's like that like that's that's not a good landing page this is a descriptive all of my descriptive buy to let online this one's not good mortgages compare so you want to have descriptive landing pages everything has to be descriptive the ad extension the actual ad um the the top tile all right so see look it's it's that this is the same ad rank that's the sides that decides um which which of these ads comes to the top and like i said before it's a d3 these four um um factors all right so so now here what we can do is so we, we, we determined this is one competitor we should probably look at this one but this one's fine as well it's pretty much near the top and uh, here what we can what we can do look we can look at the ppc keywords so we can see the advertising on google and bing all right so look here's one of the keywords uk secured loans business finance uk um i think i think you can um you can you can literally just export it but you got to be a premium user so for now if you, if you just took a copy of these keywords even let's say the top five this will give you a lot of ideas when it comes to um finding keywords on here so let's say one of them is uk secured loans So they actually go they got they got ads specifically for UK. 16 pound. Mm -hmm, like that, and it keeps going. And also what you can do because these singular keywords are pretty expensive, what you can do is if, if they get expensive, because this is a very expensive niche mortgage, obviously. What you can do is <clears throat> find longer tail keywords. So Imagine I search best secured loans in the UK. See, it's not it's not actual. Um, there's no there's no real bid on that because it's a long long tail keyword. So this one's definitely going to be cheaper. Let's say we were in UK. So 10 to 100 search. See, imagine you got a couple of these long tail keywords. You can get them at um, a cheaper bid. 
okay and here we got Bing Yahoo said that they're advertising on Bing and AdWords so the cheapest cheapest loan rates best fixed mortgages UK car loans and here's the here's the uh, the big thing that you can look at as well when creating your ad you can literally see the ads over here but it actually shows you the ads uh, that's pretty amazing right because it actually shows you um, which is quite good so now you can actually look at the ads in Google and in Bing so imagine you took the you took some Google ads imagine you found for example a compare that only uses Google and just compare um, copy the ads to Bing or just copy the ads and then target smaller keywords and you're literally capturing that amount of traffic all right so if you're gonna if you're gonna do it through um, Google AdWords, what you can do is um, you, you literally just, just add them in through here. You just use this button, and you can just add them in. I know it looks expensive, but um, for your niche, it might not be as expensive. And if it is, what you're gonna do is you're gonna you're gonna target lower, um, I mean longer keywords, add more negative keywords. And hopefully, over time, it will it will get cheaper. It will definitely get cheaper. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, so it will definitely get cheaper over time. So this is a good website to actually find keywords and spy on the ads. And it shows you their competitors. See how made this is quite good actually. See now it's showing you their competitors and their keywords, and you can literally take all their keywords as well, um, compare them get their ads um, I'm probably gonna go more detail in the next video on how to actually create an ad in Bing what you should look out for and then the video after that is gonna be how to optimize your campaigns but you need to know how to scale your campaign that's quite important um, you're gonna have to split test make, make a whole lot of campaigns um, and anyway, for now you, you can also add them negative keywords so that way but then th this is probably something you want to do after you, you've um, gathered some data on your ads and then you can once you analyze them you can look at keywords that you don't want to rank for and they'll show you and then what you can do is just add those keywords to into your negative keyword list just quite simple and Always, always try and just, just Google your your keywords on, or on, on Bing as well. Just search them up. Look through your um, look through your competitors. Re research your competitors. Find out what keywords they're using. Uh, copy their keywords. Find out which ones work for you. Scale your campaigns based on those. This is just a, an overview on how to get keywords to get started quickly. Um, I'm brought much detail to this tutorial yet. Because um, there's a lot to it, but I'm just giving them a quick overview on how to get started with this. I'm um, just giving you a bird's eye view. Well, like I said, I'm, I'm gonna post um, a a full ad optimization process, six step process to the group, and so you can definitely see that if you're a bit more advanced. But yeah, make sure you follow my Instagram as well and just join the group. If you got any questions, so yeah, post your questions in there, um, so I can see them. It's a lot better than doing it through YouTube, but because they hold it in for spam sometimes. Anyway, that's that's all there is for this tutorial. In the next video, we'll cover how to do deep keyword research and how to actually make ads. Because this, I know a lot of you want to know how to make ads properly. And then the video after that is going to be ad optimization. Because I know everyone's really look, looking for CPA tutorials. And I'll also be making private videos if you join my email list, which you, which you can do through the group. Once you join the group, you'll be on my email list for private courses on CPA. Because there's only so much I can cover on YouTube. Alright, so that's, that's all there is for this video. Um... Any questions, join the group. And that's all there is. So, yep. Yeah.